Good day YouTube. This is just another classic Tech Lake 411 video for a bit of a RAM comparison between a couple of operating systems. And the one on the left we have is actually Windows 7 and the one on the right is Lubuntu 20.10. Now this is actually, in my mind, a pretty good comparison because they're both, uh, let's call it a little bit more simplified operating systems in a way. And uh, one's quite old, one's quite new in fact, but they are both lightweight for, for the operating systems that they are. So probably one of the most lightweight Windows operating systems that anyone might use today. And the same goes for Lubuntu, really. So let's load up some specs and have a bit of a peek at what's going on. So first of all, yeah, we can see Windows, Lubuntu, and uh, let's have a look. So this is what <laughs> upsets me the most about Windows. I can never catch it on a good day. I just, I really can't. Nothing's loaded up in the background. Maybe, maybe we have a Windows update somewhere, but uh, probably pretty unlikely with Windows 7. But uh, a couple of problems I'm already experiencing here is the CPU is just flat out at 100. I just can't stop it. And in fact, we've got 0% nearly, you know, 0.7% for Lubuntu. But really what it's all about is this figure here. Now this should not be that high, but it should still be higher than Lubuntu in my experience. So Lubuntu is actually running at 370 megabytes of RAM straight off the bat on boot up. I only booted it up about 15 minutes ago. Nothing's really loaded it up in the background except for some default apps, but even then maybe we could get rid of those couple of them there. But, um, and uh, let's see, so I brought it down to 361, not too bad. But uh, yeah, Windows 7 by contrast, it does this, it spikes. In my real opinion, it's usually sitting at about uh, maybe 700 megabytes to a gig of RAM. Either way, still at least double to triple what it normally is. But I'm not doing anything in the background here. It's not, here we go, we've got the option to do a bit of a shutdown and install some updates, which is pretty surprising for Windows 7. I believe they hit end of life support, except for business uh, environments uh, some, some time ago. But, um, yeah, <clears throat> well, excuse me. But yeah, just a bit of a fun, fun, quick look at these two. By no means a scientific assessment, just a bit of a feel for the leftover RAM after the operating systems used all up. I'm starting to cough, so I'm going to stop the video. But cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and I uh, hope to see you guys again. Ciao.